I'm Bree, and this is TJ. In 2017, we decided to break away from the norm and travel the U.S. in our custom 4x4 van and Airstream. We loaded up our two dogs, Madley and Brody, and cat Jack, and hit the road. We quickly realized life on the road is full of surprises, and our name-embracing detours fit our new life perfectly. Please subscribe, and welcome to the adventure. We are headed out for a road trip today, but before we get in the van, we're going to give Brody some stuff for his motion sickness. Here, you don't need all of these. You feel like you're getting left out with that. Hey! So where are we headed today? So we hopped on the uh, Interstate 5 and we headed north. And I think we're going to check out some islands off the coast here of Washington. Yeah, so we're going a couple of hours north of Seattle. And we have a general idea of where we want to go, but we're going to have to kind of be loose with those plans because a lot is still closed in this area due to COVID. So we're hoping uh, to get up around the Deception Pass and Whidbey Island area um, and whatever else we might be able to find along, along our way. interstate and are taking some back roads to get where we're headed. Yeah, we just came through the cute little town of Connor. Right on the Skagit River. We actually came through the Skagit Valley to, to get here. We took the bridge across Skagit River and we're uh, taking a back road up into Deception Pass. Obviously being fed by humans. <laughs> that deer, we were maybe two feet from it with the beginning. I think we could have gotten out and fed it on the head and it would have been Maybe we should eat it. have crossed into Deception Pass State Park um, and just crossed over the bridge that goes over Deception Pass. Deception Pass was found and mapped by Joseph Whidbey in 1792 during Britain's four and a half year Vancouver expedition. Captain George Vancouver gave this area the name Deception because it misled him into believing Whidbey Island was a peninsula.
right. Well, that was Deception Pass. Yep. And Deception Pass Bridge. Yeah, I think that's. A, I, I, no, I think that's actually the name for it is Deception right. Pass Bridge. Right <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is a state park in here, and there is camping here, but currently only one of the campgrounds is available due to COVID, because uh, I looked into coming and just camping here, but the one campground that's open only has like eight sites, and they're booked out forever, so um, it just wasn't feasible for us to camp here, but I could definitely see under normal normal circumstances when the other campgrounds are open this would be a pretty sweet spot to yeah, come spend. Spot to spend you know a week or so and check out the area for sure. yeah yeah it is it is gorgeous through here so uh, i think we're gonna keep heading south so deception pass is where F fidalgo it's fidalgo fidalgo yeah. island transitions over into Whidbey Island. So that bridge, the um, Deception Pass Bridge, actually is where you're crossing from one island over to the next. So we're going to continue south onto Whidbey Island and see what we can see. to Eddie's Landing National Historic Reserve, which is a really beautiful farming area that was formed glacially about 13,000 years ago. The glaciers receded and left all of this super fertile prairie land. Yeah, and in the 1850s, a man by the name of Isaac Ebbies, or Ebby, came out here and he said he found the richest farmland he's ever seen <laughs> and set up a settlement and this area has been farming ever since. Yeah, it's still being farmed to this day and it's just a really beautiful, lush green. It's neat to see um, different color fields, you know, so you get like the blocking of different colors in the fields, but then you get a view of the water beyond. It's pretty yeah. stunning out here. It's pretty cool to see the farmland just run straight up to the coast. another dog on this hike. <laughs> we own a yellow lab now. So I think, I believe, these fields behind us are wheat. I don't know if you can see that. If you guys know, let us know, but I think it's wheat. But it's really pretty. I like to see these old barns still in existence, and still standing. And I like how they're kind of aged, and you can see that it doesn't look like it's brand new kind of thing. I think 
You like anything. Oh. I guess I just like old things. Yeah. <laughs> Except for me. Except for Brain. Yeah. In that case, you like young things. <laughs> As the sun sinks low on the horizon, we reluctantly make our way off Whidbey Island. The vast rolling farmland and expansive countryside meeting the sea is a breath of fresh air and makes us long to get back on the road. We opt to take the ferry rather than backtracking the way we came, saving ourselves a hundred miles and gaining a bit more adventure before our day of exploration comes to a close. A special shout out to our patrons whose support help make these videos possible. If you'd like to help support the production of our videos, head over to patreon.com forward slash embracing detours. Thanks for watching and we'll see everyone next week.